The first stage of the Synod on Synodality began with this Mass celebrated in St. Peter's Basilica, where the Pope proposed ways to begin the local phase of the Synod, which will take place in every Catholic diocese around the world. It is the most ambitious measure in the history of church synods, since the consultation phase will begin not in the Vatican, but in dioceses, with the aim of including the voices of more Catholics than in any other synod in history. The Pope asked Catholics to look to Jesus as an example of one who went out to meet the people where they were and listened attentively to their needs. È un esercizio lento, forse faticoso, per imparare ad ascoltare a vicenda vescovi, preti, religiosi, laici, tutti, tutti battesati, evitando risposte artificiali e superficiali. Non insonorizziamo il cuore, non blindiamoci dentro le nostre certezze. E le certezze tante volte ci chiudono, no? Ascoltiamoci. The Pope said that the Synod is a unique occasion to practice the art of the encounter face to face with others. Lasciarsi toccare dalle domande delle sorelle e dei fratelli, aiutarci affinché la diversità dei carismi, vocazioni e ministeri ci arricchisca. Some 3,000 people attended the Pope's Mass, among them people from Rome and members of the Curia. It was also the last Mass celebrated by Father Guido Marini as Master of Ceremonies before he assumes his new role as Bishop of Tortona, near his native Genoa. At the end of the Mass, the Pope gave a blessing to Sister Gloria Cecilia Narvaez, the Colombian nun who was recently released after being kidnapped in Mali four years ago by groups linked to Al-Qaeda. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.